it's stucco. It's day 178. Oh my gosh. Today, <laughs> today on a whole brand new episode oh, of Stuck of This Dang Chuckin Garden. garden. Did I say Chuckin yeah. Garden? Yeah. Chuck, Chuck, it's, let's call it the Chuckin Garden from okay. now on. Nope. Guys, we're working on Stucco again. We're yep. working on the rooster garden. So far, so good. Yeah. It's going good. We got a few like tiny little cracks, but. Hairline cracks, but I think I'm going to try to patch some of those up okay. as we're going like once I start working on sponge work I'm going to take some of that excess material yeah. and just go over that yeah. but I don't think it's going to be a huge deal because we will be painting over this we'll be sealing it yeah and it's I don't know it's like a totally different kind of crack than what our other plaster was yeah. doing where the the crack on the other one you could tell it was like deep all the way to the base yeah. of of that but this is just the like it barely level. pulled apart yeah yeah so guys we're just back at it we're Adding more stucco. Yeah. Doing the same thing, going around the openings first and then yeah. spraying in between. Also, can we just talk about how it's the middle of January and we're wearing t-shirts? Just give it some time. It'll get cold again. Don't worry. But it feels amazing. It's a good day. Yeah. And this is perfect weather for stucco. It's not yeah. going to get too cold, so we're going to get it done while we can. Are you in a rush? You know, at the end of these, you're always like, are you ready? Are you ready to go? Are you ready? So I'm just, we're just switching Why roles here. always opposite? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can we get started? Yeah. Let's go. All this money, money, money coming to me. No handouts are really had to do it for me. Watch me work. Watch me work. We're about to get started. And realize we don't have a gorilla cart to move around the stucco mix in. We don't have a wheelbarrow to mix it up in. And we don't have trash bags to put all the stucco bags in after we get done. We'll figure this out eventually. Watch me work. Episode called Don't Buy Any More Snacks. Wait, hold on. These are not snacks. It is a snack. It's a it's a food group that doesn't need to be bought, it could be made. It's an right? entire food group. We're making tortillas. Here's what we're doing. We have melted a third cup of butter. To that, we're going to add one cup of water so that that water gets warm. While that sits, we're gonna add flour, baking powder, and salt to a bowl. Ready? Okay. Three cups of flour. Okay. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, mix all the dry ingredients and to that you're gonna add the one third cup of melted butter mixed with the one cup of water. Add that in here and mix it up really well. All right, once it looks like a shaggy mess like that, you're gonna pour it out onto your countertop and start kneading. So here's a question. Mm -hmm. How long has this taken so far? I forgot well, to set a timer. 
If you don't count all the distractions with a certain dog, <coughs> um, this would take about two minutes so far. Mm, I'm gonna say three. We're just gonna keep kneading this until it's smooth, and then we're gonna let it rest 15 to 20 minutes. I can't play it because someone broke the last string. Oh. <laughs> Don't buy any more snacks. about 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna cut this into little balls and roll it out and then we're going to heat it, well, I guess it would be baking it? I don't know. Frying it, but we're not frying it in oil. We're just cooking it on a cast iron pan that's warm. You tell me, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know if you would call it baking. It's not bread, it's not in the oven. Get it as thin as you can. That's about as thin as I can get it. Could have let it rest a little longer. Maybe you could get it thinner. You're going to take the piece and put it on your hot skillet. Maybe remember to turn up the temperature on your skillet first. Do I get to roll one? Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Also, look at this. This little adorable rolling pin that my dad turned for me. It's awesome. stack of fresh tortillas and it only took 45 minutes. Is that all? <laughs> was it faster than buying tortillas? No. no. Was it hard? Also no. No, not necessarily. Would we do it again? Maybe. If I had a real kitchen. I, I'd give it a solid maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a lot easier in a bigger kitchen. There's just not a lot of room in well, here. Well, have we even, have we but tried it? Do you want to try it? I think we should try it. Okay, them. here you yeah. go. Well, you want to split it with no. You want your I already own? had one. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. It's like soft, yeah. flavorful. Mm -hmm. You That's could good. go either way with this. You could put some butter and cinnamon sugar on it as like a little mm -hmm. treat. Yeah. Or you could fill it with some beans and meat. I mean, you can't go wrong with a warm tortilla. A fresh This tortilla. would make a killer quesadilla. Mm. Should we make quesadillas? I don't have enough stuff to make quesadillas. We have cheese. Do I have chicken? No, we don't. So a cheese quesadilla, huh? Sure. It's the most basic of quesadillas. Okay. Hey, guess what? Stay tuned. We're going to make a quesadilla. The first step to a really good quesadilla. Shred your own cheese. Don't buy the pre-shredded. Shred your own. Don't skimp. Lots of cheese. Shredded cheese has like that coffee stuff all over it. Like that coating. Mm -hmm. Only the good stuff, Tillamook. And if your dog is being really good and not barking, 
he gets some cheese too. Good job, OG. Oh, that's good. Good job, buddy. <laughs> but only if he's not working. Lucky for you, we don't have meat, but we have jalapeno. Wow. Well, the that's next best even thing. <laughs> How spicy are we going to make it? Do you want the seeds removed? I like spicy. Yeah, I'll spike one spicy. Okay. All right, here we go. One tortilla, some cheese. Ready? Yep. If you want your quesadilla to be really cheesy and delicious, throw a little bit of butter in the pan. Make sure you have a lid on it so it traps all that heat and melts your cheese gonna melt your cheese. Do you, are you, do you need some more cheese? Do you want some more cheese? I need something to put it on. For me? Mm -hmm. For us? For you. You're not gonna have one? Oh, I'll have one. Okay. But it's really hot, so be Yeah, good. we're gonna have to wait. No, it's fine. Everything's good. We need to use jalapenos more. Mm. So there you have it. Homemade tortillas, delicious quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Guys, you can make it right at home. Why would you need to buy any snacks when you have homemade tortillas at home? One thing we want to make sure we do before we start stuckling over our base coat is we are knocking off things that are like loose. So just go by, like this is really stuck on there. But um, just like making sure nothing's too easy to knock off. Like here, you can see that is like real brittle. So we want to get that off. If it comes off that easy, there's a problem. But the rest of it's stuck on. Yeah. A lot of it is. I just, and I still don't know, like, we applied it the same way. Why is some of it coming off and some of it's not? So, but we do want to make sure we get the loose stuff off before we start covering it up. That's important. Yeah. And the solar shed is going to be a whole other story. We're going to have to rip a lot of it off. Yeah. Yeah. The solar shed is going to have to be a pick it all off party because it's it's a lot. You know, it's really cool using our rainwater to do the stucco. So the pump house is all hooked up. It's working great. We have a pressurized spigot out here, and then we have two on the actual inside. Remember, we ran it underneath, and so we're going to have a hose hooked up on the outside ring and then a hose hooked up on the inside ring, and it makes things so much easier dragging those hoses around. A shame, think something new under sun. You can't take back them things you already done, done, no. You blame things that you do on somebody else, uh, no. But they all see, but they all see is you need help. So 
much of your life scheming and trying to get over. Got you wondering why you come around. All you get is cold show. Uh. As it turns out, safety glasses only work if you put them on. So, how about we practice what we say and safety. Just had something in my eye, got it all out, continue. It's time to move to the inside wall. The sun is so harsh right now. My job is to block the sun where Adelaide's face is so she can actually see. So, lesson learned, we need to start a little bit earlier. I thought we started earlier, but then... We didn't. We had a tech call from uh -huh. your parents, <laughs> and then there was some other stuff going on. Uh -huh. And before we knew it, it wasn't as early as we thought it was. Yep. Well, guys, <laughs> we're just waiting on the last little section here to dry enough to where I can float it with the sponge trowel. Yep. And then we are going to wrap it up because it is really cold. I should I, have I, a jacket on. I think we are wrapping it up. Well, I mean, we got to clean up all this stuff. It's mostly clean. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to let that dry a little bit more. You're going to float it. I'm going to take your camera before the battery dies. So when I get 